go live every Saturday night and we show you the junk that we thrifted. We tell you how much we paid for it, how much we're gonna sell it for, and we have everything already listed at jrvhome.com. If you go to the Saturday Thrift Haul Collection, it's all there, and Caitlin is on here dropping links. So if you're watching the replay, make sure you hit up that live chat because you'll see the links while we're talking. All right. I don't know what- Are we ready to dive I, in? I saw my name real quick, hold on. Are we ready to dive in? I'm ready to dive in. Well, you don't know- I'm gonna show to this fun in. plant you don't, right here. You don't, hold on, wait it's a second. It's gorgeous. We're just glad y'all, oh, I thought somebody said my name on here. Just gorgeous. Well, what do you, why do you think I bought that? Because of the I brass bowl. Because the nice canister. Piece of brass. It's got a nice, a real nice piece of brass. All right, hold on. I've got it's got handles on the sugar. side. The greenery is great, but really, no, the it's, greenery is gross. It's about so, the, it's about the bowl. It's about the thing. So can we take the greenery out of it? Yeah, let's try it out. I don't think I put it in the listing. Oh, it's so glued in. No, we'll rip that, that out. That ivy is bad. If somebody wants it, I will pop glue it back in there. Will you? I will. I don't know if you will. I'm I gotta, gonna, you're going to have to move the camera because okay, my phone has so to be on the charger. Someone went hog wild with was the glue. glue. All right, so how much did I pay for that one? Let's see. This was two forty nine at Savers. All right, so it's, in, it's like a little nest now. Yeah, so that actually is way better, but I would probably pull it off. I'm going, I gonna, I'm going to have to cut that foam out. I'm going to sell it for twelve ninety five. I think if you look... so good. Can, can but I, I want to show them the feet. Okay, I'll wait. What did you want to see? I wanted to see the bottom. Oh, see what kind of brass it was. It doesn't say. It says, for decorative purposes only, don't put your food in it. I don't think I put food in that anyways. Oh, but someone's love... logged in as us. Oh, it must be Caitlin. Maybe. No, Caitlin was logged in as Caitlin. Well, someone is logged in as us somewhere. Oh, I bet you it's Mariah. Could be. Stacy said I'm all about the brass and thick glass. I got this grass. Like... This grass is all over me now. Never again. All right, I'm gonna scooch over by you and move the camera just a little so that your phone doesn't die. Um, oh, it is Caitlin. <laughs> hi, Caitlin. She's like, hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh my gosh. Sorry, it was a little bit crazy. We, fret. we had our friends Tony and Heather over here eating cupcakes like right before we went live. Caitlin's trying to call me. We're pricing stuff. I'm telling Zeb, Zeb, I gotta go live. And Caitlin's like, don't go live yet. They're not live. And I was like, I was talking, talking to Zeb, not you. And that happened all before we got on camera. So we're a little bit crazy. Yeah. So, all right, next item. This is like the world's most ginormous candlestick. It like, reminds me almost of like a kerosene lantern, but it doesn't have any of those things. It's made for <laughs> a... Uh, tall skinny candle so i paid 4.99 and i'm gonna sell that one for 16.95 and it looks like pewter but it's not it's just metal it's tin it's like aged metal but super cute oh caitlin says it's a good idea for her to be logged in because then she can pin messages and oh. her comments are highlighted and there then you i go. know it's caitlin because she said just saying that's like that's a caitlin are the green corbels sold as a pair? They are sold as a pair, so we'll talk about those. We are donating. Where Would are you put, they at? Did you put them over here to take a picture? No, oh, they're right here. They're on the floor. They may have, I don't know if they've sold yet, but we are donating all the money for these corbels to a charity. I'm not sure which one, I need to look it up. I know Chip and Joe had one that they liked, um, and they're $99.95 for the set. These are actually our corbels from the old house that we lived in. If you guys ever saw us do the hallway makeover, these are from there, and when they sell, we're going to donate that money to Texas. So we thought that would be fun. And they're legit from our house. They're not painted on the back because they were held up, and they have the holes in them from the nails from Zeb putting them in, so we thought that would be fun. So. Well, when you get old corbels, they have holes from being attached yeah. to, like, porches and things. And we do sell these on the website at jamierayvintage.com. They come unfinished. No, you can buy them finished. Oh, you still can, huh? Yeah, but you can't get the ones that were at our house. It's true. That's what makes these special. And the money's going to charity, so. Yeah. But if you miss out on these and you need more, you can buy them, but these are the ones that were at I'm our gonna house. I'm gonna move them over back here because they're big. All right, Caitlin just pinned it to the top. Buy these comments, or buy these items here. Okay, we oh, got. Oh, Jaxa. Jaxa Airedale said, I got the corbels. Sweet. Awesome. We're super excited. Thank you. We are going to donate that money to Texas. All right. So. 
So this, we've got some kind of apothecary style jars. This one here, it's got glass on it, which I will leave because it's loud and crinkly, but it does open up. This one is a good cut of Kirby. It was $3.49. It looks to have a sticker on the bottom. What does that sticker say? Carefully. Oh. Without losing the lid. So hand blown. Oh. Excel glassware. Hand blown. That makes it even more fancy. $14.95 for that one. I didn't know. I might have charged $19.95 if I would have known about the hand blown. Nah, you'd have been all right. No, $14.95 is good. And then we have this jar. And this is um, Anne's House of... Oh, I don't know what that says. I think it's made in the USA, though. I thought that that's what it said. Anne's House of Nulo is what it looks like it says, which doesn't make any sense. Maybe they're making up words. I like Hey, Robert words. Floria. He says, Jamie and Zeb, Texas strong. Um, if the video is fuzzy, make sure you check your resolution. Sometimes you need to up that to 720. So do you know why I got this? Thick on the bottom. Yes. And also, not even level. It's, it's like uneven on the bottom. Yeah, it sits level, but the glass is a little unlevel. So you can tell it's not like mass. I it do. could be mass produced, but it's mass produced in a good and perfect way. I like that it's tall and thin. Like I was skinny. thinking straws. Oh, yeah, that would be like awesome for straws. People are now using those metal straws, but I did not measure to make sure how tall a, like, a straw would be. I'm going to throw a guess out here that this is about... Uh, 11 and a half inches. I think so. Kaylin says it's, it was sold. So we sold it for $12.95. So whoever buys it, let me know if you use it for straws. Someone was I saw that shopping. and I thought, perfect for keeping all your metal straws together. Because if you put them in a drawer, they roll around everywhere. So this is also a saver's find. $3.99. Is this plaster or It's resin. Marlene oh. says she has one of those and she puts her straws in it. One Get of these? Warm. Yes. Marlene Hillman. She's my home girl. All right, so that's going to get painted because the bird had an unfortunate accident. What happened? His oh. beak is a little bit His beak short. is gone. It's not gone. It's just short. Some birds have short beaks. You know what? He just got real excited with that hard corn on the cob that someone put out for him. Lost a bit of his beak. Um, bird decor will be painted and it's sold for $12.95. Okay. Oh, and that's why I'm painting it. Is this Renee part of... likes your Band-Aid. Hey, He's thanks, a tough Renee. Guy. Thanks, Renee. So I was in. I was finishing up this video that I, that went up today. If you guys missed it, there's an edited video on the bathroom and our bedroom. Finishing that up, and I scraped. I had a blister on the back of my finger, and I scraped the skin off of it. And I'm like, I need a band aid quick. And this was all that was in the drawer. It is Donna. It is not Star Wars. It's Wonder Woman. And why do I have Wonder Woman band aids? Because at my Galentine's Day party. My friend Christy gave me Wonder Woman band-aids. <laughs> Zeb's not too uh, manly to wear it, so there you I go. went out to a hardware <laughs> Lisa store. Lisa said not to beak shame that bird. Uh, the bird's fine. <laughs> it's doing good work. Um, all right. It managed to get super fluffy and round with a okay. little bit less beak. Funny dish, $9.95. So cute. So the bottom looks like a woven basket. And then the top is just really cute. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Actually, you know what? I think that that came from Sue. It did come from Sue. Is this a Sue find? It's a Sue find. Some of Sue's stuff we saved for the thrift boxes coming up for the next subscription box. And then some of it you're gonna see here tonight. And that was from Sue. On that note, guys, love the donations on the back porch. We're out of room. <laughs> so we're full for the moment. But when the back porch has more room, and the basement has more like room. Some I'll stuff's let you know. starting to get ruined because it can't stay under the porch and it's out well, the of the snow. Well, the stuff that's starting to get ruined is my stuff. But yeah, so for now, back porch offerings are on hold for a little bit. So we got to make it through the piles. But anyways, that one came from Sue and it's super cute. You know what else came from Sue that I loved? This butter dish. It's etched glass. Oh, that is the that's perfect size. why I have size. a hard time saying no because some of us I really, it. oh, it's, it's almost like, uh, it's like a reverse French butter dish. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not really. It you couldn't really balance it on that. I was, I'll try to, I'm going to come around and show you guys the etching up close, but I love the size on this. Looks like it probably holds about uh, half a stick. Kaylin says, ha ha, it's super cute because it came from Sue. All right. Um, Caitlin dropped the link. We did do a edited video, went down today. We almost didn't do it because we don't like to do live and edit it on the same day, but we haven't dropped an edited video all week. We did our master bathroom. Hey, Lolly. 
All right, um, Kelly says, I've been looking for good butter dishes and I can't find them. I don't know where Sue got that one from. That one's awesome because the edge glass is really trending right now. All right, I don't know how much that one is. I'm waiting for Caitlin to drop the link. Let's see if I can find it. Well, we've been going kind of quick, so I'll load some stuff up over here. We oh, do, it's sold for $12.95. We do have some collectible stuff coming up, which is cool. Um, but a lot of this is thrifted tonight. Oh, it's Princess House. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Well, somebody got a good deal. All right, so let's talk about the brass. They're heavy. They are heavy. They're so like So this is the Wild West collection, um, and they come in a pair, and this is made by Tom Knapp. He's a former Walt Disney artist. And this is Belle Starr, and she was a bad A Western gal. Because I don't know about that guy because I didn't look him up, but this one, her story's in here. She was born in Carthage, Missouri, and she was known as the Bandit Queen. And she, her life of crime began with her first marriage, um, and then she was uh, setting up a meeting place in Oklahoma for outlaw friends, and then she was widowed, and her career as cattle rustler, bank, and stage robber ended in 1889 by an unidentified gunman that shot her in the back. But she was uh, using her wherewithal to uh, rob stagecoaches. She was making it happen in the West. That's okay. Caitlin's like, sorry, I got distracted. I'm easily squirreled. Caitlin is better at it than me. And so this is Black, Black Bart. Bart. Another one. And they are together. Hey, Ivy's on here. Woo woo. All right, let me look up these guys. All I sold right. them as a pair because I thought, you know, somebody might want both. $22.95 for the set. And I think they were made in, does this say? I don't know. Um, made in the USA, but I don't know when they were made. Probably like the 80s, just judging by the So this sticker. one I think is stamped 1981. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 1981. And this one, same? They are definitely weapon grade. They're small weapon grade, and they have some patina on the... Tom Knapp. Brass on the back of that one. Or they're bronze, sorry. No, not brass. Those are bronze. Yep. They're That's heavy. why they're heavy. Okay. Canister. Thrifted canister. $1.99. And super great for utensils. They make an amazing uh, utensil caddy. Doesn't have a lid. Might not have come with a lid. Kai says that Zeb doesn't like that story. No, he just doesn't like that I said bad A. Yeah, I don't like that. He doesn't like it. It's all right. You have a rebel wife. It's best not to substitute at all. <laughs> you can look up Black Bart on History Hunters on YouTube. I'm going to totally do that. Oh, I forgot to bring the transfer. So IOD makes these crock transfers. They look like labeling, and I'm going to put one on that. I didn't bring them, so I can't show you, but I'm going to do that. So it was $1.99, and I am going to sell it for... So it's not going to just be a plain caddy. Yeah, I put in there what I was going to do with it. It already sold. I'm going to sell for $13.95. But if you guys find Crocs like this and you have those IOD transfers, they work really, really well. Um, and I don't put anything over the top of them. I just let people know that you don't want to scrub them because you can't, like, wash it. It's for decor only once you put the transfer on. If you've been waiting your whole life for a cast iron double bird hook that's been aged and painted white, we got you. We got you, boo. Double bird, double hook. Oh, no. Caroline got her butter dish and it was broken. <gasps> Which one? I don't one know. The new email. Ones? I don't know. Email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Let Caitlin know and we will take care of you. It happens. And if you do, if you can't remember that email, if you just go back to your email from when you bought it, there should be an email that link that you can click. Or if you go to our website, Caitlin's email's on there. All right. Oh, this shirt is on my website. What size is this? You're wearing a small. Okay, yeah, they run true to size because I'm usually like I'm a small medium, and this is like a, and they're made to fit snug. I like the sleeves on them. I don't remember the name of this though, but it's in the closet collection. Oh, at least I got the bird's hook. Oh, Caitlin said that the um, oh. bronze statues weren't active, so she had to fix that. Are they active now? They are. Yeah, there's only one bird hook, and Lisa bought that one. Okay, and that I've, one came from, uh, sorry, it was from Sue. So I don't know how much she paid for it. I've got These a little, cute banks. a couple of little banks here. Right, and they're, they look like they're Peter Rabbit banks. They are Peter Rabbit the banks. The Flopsy Bunnies. There is a, um, so they're, they're $12.95 each. And I think that the maker is on the bottom. They are collectible. 
Not on this one. So it's Wedgwood. Oh. So the same brand as the Crystal that we sell. These are made in England. Um, originally they sold for $45. So this says it's Royal Albert out of England. Oh. The world of Beatrix Potter. Well, this one is Wedgwood. So if you buy this one, they're separated on the website. This one is Wedgwood, made in England, and that one is Royal also Albert, made in England. England. That's interesting. Frederick Warren. These are very similar. I love the Flopsy Bunnies. They're so cute. A little story time for you there. Yeah. There you go. These are part of the collectibles. If you watch us, then you know what I mean when I say they're a tub offering. <laughs> they're from the collectibles tub. All right, let's get back to comments. I'm trying to look and see what I've shown and what I haven't shown. It's all right here in front of me. Oh, we'll do this. Little little mannequin, polka dot mannequin. They are Beatrix Potter, um, Janine. This is, it shows, so you can see it on the back, the Royal Albert one. There you go. And then let me see, does this one say Beatrix on here? No. This one is Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. And this one's Beatrix Potter. So you, if you look at the pictures, they're like A and B. I don't remember which one is which, so you just make sure you're buying the right one. I really, the round one's cool, but I really like the Peter, the shape on the yeah, Peter Rabbit Yeah, they're both really one. cute, and I'm actually gonna put them down here too. Yeah, put them back there so they don't actually get Protect pushed. Protect them. So they don't get pushed off grabbing stuff, so. All right, oh, little no. mannequin. Caitlin said there's a permanent marker situation. Caitlin, hairspray, if you have. An issue. If you need me to run by the store tonight, let me know because we already ate tomatoes. Uh, Janine says they're probably around 40 years old. Probably right because a lot of the stuff that was in the collectibles was bought between the 70s to the 90s. So you are almost spot on. They have a date on them, 1986. There you go. Almost that many years. I was five in 1986, towards the end of 1986. <laughs> oh, Peter Rabbit usually is Beatrix Potter. Well, there we go. All right. So the mannequin. It's got these fun little arms. What are these for? Is it for like putting a dress on there and having it be poofy out? Or is this for makeup or uh, jewelry? I was like makeup, it's for Not jewelry. makeup, jewelry. So this originally came from Pottery Barn and I paid $4 for it. And it's a little bit dusty, but I actually think if you ran a lid roll over, it would be fine. And I love that it's got like these little glass knobs. It's got this cute little base. And I don't know. I tried I to tighten it up. I, I don't, don't know. know if it comes apart or what. So this one sold for $14.95, but I actually bought it because I know that these are really popular. People put IOD molds on them and paint them. And even though it's fabric, you probably could cut, it's foam underneath. So you could totally cut the fabric off and put IOD molds all over that and it'd be so cute. Or you could just use it as is, it's cool. Yeah, as is, it's good to go. So if you guys ever see these and you sell IOD, you can either use it and make a display or resell them because people that do the molds love to do them on the mannequins. I think, so if you wanted to like poke stuff in her, it is foam. If you want to poke stuff. Okay. Like, I don't know, use it for like needles or whatever. Oh, or like jewelry. Yeah. Like pins, pins or whatever. Um, let's see. All right, more stuff. So Donna said she had a cereal bowl when she was little and it had rabbits in the bottom and she was born in 1955. Oh, that's not for sale. What is it up here for then? Heather wanted to see it. <laughs> this is a, the throne of David and it's from 1892. At least that's the date in here. Look at this handwriting. Someone. Yeah, it's not for sale, but we'll show it to you anyways. Look at that. That was a back porch offering. I have a couple of books from 1892 and I'm obsessed with books that are, if they're over a hundred years old, I never sell them. I keep them. This is someone's handwriting. Like, it, like it's a lost art. It's gone. Like handwriting is terrible now. Yeah, but not My kids, back then. they can't, they're like, I can't type that out, and then no one's going to be able to read that. Caitlin was answering. Somebody was asking me about my niece, Mel, who had a seizure. They did find out she has epilepsy, but they've got her medicine, and, and Jamie sent her a blanket, and I'm hoping she gets it by Monday. It was supposed to already be there, but they've got weather delayed. So I checked in. The weather delays Monday. have been happening. All right. Okay. I've got this uh, copper. Is it copper? It is copper. Yeah. Little so copper it's, kettle. It will, is it functional? So I think it's a watering can. Oh, you're right. It I is didn't a put it as a, a kettle, but I changed it to watering can because that's what I think it is. I'm trying to hang on. <laughs> I can't see daylight from the spout. You, here, watch. I'm gonna wait, just put water. Wait for it. I can see it if I. You got it in my light. Did Stop I? it. Did I? All right. I need some water. Put that 
Thirsty, are you thirsty? Um, I'm good. Okay, so the spout does not connect. Just confirmed. So you can't put water in it's, it? It's for look -sees. Let me double check. All right. She's going to double check. It's peeing. Is it? Yeah. Oh, man, there must be a little pinhole it's in there then because it looks like it's welded over on the inside. <laughs> All right, well, functional. All right. So 1495 it already sold. And we confirmed that it does spit out water. I wasn't sure if it did, but I just like to be right. Sometimes. All right, so that's these... usually right and I'm usually wrong. So Not always. I've been getting I've been failing more than I have. Ivy's been. laughing. She's on here. She's like that does make more sense that it's a watering can. It's all right, Ivy. I mean, it's confusing. Junk is confusing. So if it wasn't for the Google, I would never know anything. Spring coming up. This is 1984 Goble. Oh, Sally Bonswell says, I got the two vintage bunny banks for my granddaughter's love your bedroom bathroom. Super chat. Thank you, Sally. Oh, thanks, Sally. We will make sure they arrive alive for your cute little granddaughters. They're going to love those. So how many of these do we have? Do we only have four? I see four boxes over here. Yes, we have four. They are collectible. They are Goble. 1984 Easter figurines. So Goble, if you don't know, is the manufacturer of Hummel. Um, and I think I marked them at $12.95. Let me see. I can find them on here. I don't know why it got out of here. Oh, there we go. There's only one left. And they, oh, sorry, $6.95. Dang, I was giving for a good deal. These are a box offering. If you guys just tuning in, never watched this before, we bought 34 tubs of collectibles for $350. We have already like quadrupled our money and we're selling things for pennies on the dollar. So statues that were like 300, we're selling for 30, but we're still making a profit. So I'm happy to move it along. All right, so I think there's one of these left. They were 6.95 each. And they are in their original box. So curious about this. Did you thrift this? I don't see a sticker oh, no, on it. Oh no, that's not for sale. That's, this came from Sue. All but, this not for sale stuff up on the front. Well, here. where's the other? This is how I have these three little containers in here. Mm-hmm. So maybe whoever buys this, I can give them the basket. Because they fit perfectly in there. <laughs> it would be a shame so to the, separate them now. The jars come with complimentary basket, apparently. Free gift with purchase. Twelve ninety five. I these just little jars. I like Aren't the seals cute? that they're color coded. This one's just like a like a plain hermetic white seal, but that one's blue and pink. They almost look like ink wells. Almost. So twelve ninety five, you get all three of them and the apple baskets. Not in the listing, but if you watch it, then you'll know. Because it'll be nice to wrap those in bubble wrap and then put them in the basket to give them extra support and then put them in the box. Those all came from Sue. Okay, couple of Sealy tins. They sold just now. They're gone. Mm -hmm. It was the apple basket. It was. So pro tip. Tipped them over the edge. Offer a free gift with purchase works every time. Bundle deal. All right, $2.99 for each of these. Matching. Originally $19.99 at the Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to sell them for $22.95 for the pair. Well, I think that's what I'm going to sell them for. I'm 99% sure that's what I put them in the... I cannot, be, I cannot confirm that. Well, if you're looking at the tote, I would recommend not looking for long, because usually as soon as we show them... Oh, $22.95 is how much I did sell them. And I'm not painting those. For both of these. Yeah. Okay. These are like um, Sweet Pickens Ocean with a little bit of old 57. So they were $2.99 each, $22.95 as a set coming to you. And way less than the $40 that the Hobby Lobby wanted for them. Yeah. They've not even been used. They still have the, uh, no, paper, they have the paper around the tabs. Some people returning brand new stuff to the thrift store. Works for my advantage. Okay, All right. Let's see. Okay, so we've got a couple of tin Catherine shelves. Catherine says, Jamie, how do you Google treasures? Sometimes I literally will say as descriptive as I can what it is when I'm not sure. And then I just keep changing words until what I search actually shows me the image of what I have. And then I can figure out what things are. Are we painting these? Are these to be yes, painted shelves? Yes, these are going to be getting painted. The smaller one is $22.95, I believe. And the big one is $29.95. Press $1. tin. $1.49. And how much did I pay for this one? This one is priceless. Okay, I think it was like $3.99. Wait, 
It's under my, oh no, it wasn't under my hand. I, and they were both from Savers because that's where I hit up this week. And these sell really, really well. Guys, if you are a reseller, anytime you find this, because when you paint them and then you white wax them, they look amazing. They look kind of cheesy right now, but they're going to get a lot better. Right, oh, the shelf does not say it will be painted. Well, it will. So hopefully nobody bought it. Because if they bought it, then we'll have to ask them. If they bought it and they know it's not painted, then... Well, yeah, but if they wanted it painted, I would. All right, right. Oh, okay. I said it on the other one, just not this one. But nobody bought it yet. Will be painted. Done. This was originally marked for $182. He's a fancy man. Yep. And uh, it's so I from that West George Germany. Washington. Sandizel. I don't think that he was George Washington because he was made by Germany. Um, and we're going to sell him for $12.95. 90% off. This fancy German pottery situation can be yours. And I did look them up and some pieces from this particular brand of ceramics and collectibles still retail for a hundred plus dollars on the secondary market. Check so out all that detail Somebody though. might want it and you might be able to make more money off of it. I just want $12.95. So these ruffles here look just like lace. I don't know if it's part of the casting. It looks like it was added and then glazed. Laura, the lace you, is hard. Sorry, I didn't want to forget it. Laura, if you want to buy the tin shelves, Caitlin dropped the link so you can just click it and buy it on the website. <laughs> Caitlin says she was going to add it, but I was quicker. That's all right. You still, are you still dealing with permanent marker, Caitlin? Does that Jamie need to go over there and regulate? We have, Jack likes permanent markers. Actually, I don't really regulate. Caitlin's boys are really cute. Last time Jonah was here, I was like, want Aunt Jamie to show you where my secret candy stash is? <laughs> it's not a That's secret anymore. Job. It's That's not a secret anymore. Okay, right. so. Oh, this, Abracadabra, thanks for sharing. This is, is that Tom Clark? Melodious? Melodious. So, Tom Clark actually signed this. And Tom Clark uses resin and walnuts. And if you guys remember, a few weeks ago, we showed you the little gnome collection. This one originally retailed for $525. $525. Um, and we're going to sell them for the low, low price of $39.95. But it is a really great piece, especially if you love Tom Clark's art. And it is signed. And Zeb, it looked to me like the signature was with Sharpie, like it was his actual... Yes, it's right yeah, here so. on the front. But just a really cool piece. It's got his violin. Looks like he's cleaning it up. Yep. Well, it says on here that many, it was about, so it's actually there's a, really there's, cool. There's a description on it. Yeah, so it says, the workmen who labored with shovels or hoes or hammers were also the true builders of America. The black worker was especially important to part of the country where I grew up, the South. Although Melodius takes orders from another, his spirit is not defeated. Like many people from all walks of life, he finds his soul set free by music. Music has been an important part of my life, and I've played different instruments on the statue's base to symbolize music's infinite expressions and dreams therein. Melodius is depicted at the end of a long, hard day, still wearing his dusty work clothes. He takes pride in his skills, his strength, and job well done, but come evening, he can pour his heart out in his music. He holds his favorite fiddle as he listens to the applause from friends, family, and neighbors. He pauses to wipe his brow before beginning his next piece. Melodious name was fortuitous, for even as a child, he filled the house with happy music. So I have a little story it. behind this guy, and you can see all the different... There's a banjo over together. here. Yep. So I thought it was really cool. Oh, luckily the permanent marker is mainly on his hand, Caitlin says. He was trying to make his hand look like a superhero. Was it Jonah? Because Jonah had marker on him yesterday when he was over here. And I was feeding him chocolate milk. He's like, thanks for the chocolate milk, Aunt Jamie. And I was like, you get anything you want. Caitlin's boys wear glasses, which makes them even more irresistibly cute. All right, I've got some bags. Who, All right. who, who likes wanted, purses? Who wanted some bags? So last week, I just thought, hey, I'll try something new. I haven't done it before. Um, I'll buy some bags that I think are well-made quality bags and see if people are interested in them. So we bought one leather bag and sold it for like 40 bucks. And then I bought a leather wallet that retailed for like 80 and I sold it for 18. So this week when I went to Savers, cause I, there's a Savers, if you're local to Utah, it's the one in Draper. Oh, the honey hole has been revealed. 
It's where the people with lots of drop off their stuff, you know, they live on the mountain. So they always have good purse selection. Um, and one of them is from South Jordan. I think it's, or that one of them is from DI, but the rest are all from Savers. So this one actually is in the fancy purse. This one I just thought was cute. Um, and it looks to be in pretty good shape. I would say almost new condition. Check the inside. That's how yep, you can Yep, the tell. inside is in good condition. All the zippers work. There There's crumbs? not a lot of wear on the tabs. No crumbs. It actually might be brand new. That, that's what you always check for. Look inside the purse, see if there's lots of crumbs. So I paid $2.99. I'm half tempted to smell it, but you know, I think I won't. Oh, she oh, took a deep. Oh, it's totally new. Smell that. It smells like. Yep, it's new. $10.95. $10.95 for a totally new purse that I smelled. So it's my so mom's cute. purse always smelled like uh, old chocolate and pennies. Because the pennies got, you know, they got the forgotten. The chocolate melts around the pennies. Yeah, and they got yes. forgotten at the bottom of the purse. <laughs> you know, pennies. Um, and the chocolate that went rogue so also Lolly, got forgotten there. Lolly says that that guy sells for 125 bucks on eBay. So buy it from me and make a profit. How much are we selling it for? 39.95. And Donna's laughing because I'm uh, snick sniffing purses. Ivana says, what about the 3030 Sabres? Um, that one's okay. It's kind of hit or miss. I actually like the Goodwill up in the Salt Lake area. I think it's on like 6,000 something. I think but this the purse Draper is also Sabres new. Is good. Oh, and this one on 72nd is good too, Ivana, because the rich people up on the other side of the bench drop their stuff off. I used to buy all my kids clothes there. So I don't know. This is dark inside. I don't, it's got a lot of clasps on it. All right, so I got to read this. Um, Connie says, my mom's purse always smelled like juicy fruit. Uh, Diane says, her mom's purse smelled like gum. And Down Home Nestor said, my mom's purse smelled, Kleenex smelled like spearmint and Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm that's, trying to show you the fabric on the inside. I'm not doing very good. It's Gianni Beanie. I checked all of the magnets work. There's also no crumbs. It may not be brand new, but it's really close to it. And those retail for about... $100 regularly for that one. You can also tell by the bottom. Yeah. See how there's not a lot of wear down there? And I'm going to sell it for $39.95. And I paid 10 bucks for it. So I paid the most for this one, but I also thought it was so cute. I love the black with the, with the plaid inside. It, it's pretty good. If you're going to resell leather purses, though, invest in some leather conditioning wipes before I ship these out. I'm going to hit them all up with some leather wipes. <laughs> Are you going to smell every person? I smelled the outside of this one because I was seeing if it was real leather. This is. is Stone Co. leather. So these they actually is. sell at Colts, but they retail for about 100 bucks. Sometimes you can get them on sale for around $60, this one, depending on the size. This one has just a touch of wear, not much. But I will clean that up with a leather wipe, and it's going to be really, really good. Um, and it's $19.95. So there you go. There's my, my secret. Buy leather bags at the thrift store. Even if your booth is not purses, if you have a little area with purses, you can get a lot of bang for your buck. And don't buy Coach Pratt bags or Prada bags because they're usually knockoffs. <laughs> Unless you're if, sure. If you find a Coach bag at the thrift store, you you hit the honey hole because. If it's the real one. So this is a Stone Mountain purse. Amber says she doesn't think her purse has a smell. So these purses, my friend Heather Stone from, Mountain, USA. from Call a Time Out, she was on here watching earlier, she goes, oh, those purses are well made and well known. I was like, yep. So these Stone Mountain purses sell for about $200-ish. If you get them at a factory store, they're about $120. I paid $4.99, and that was the color of the day. So it was $2.50 for a $200 purse. And I'm going to sell it for $29.95. So whoever gets it's getting a tremendous deal. It's about 10 So this of fabric is all on the inside and it says stone. And it's stone in really, Mountain. really good condition. Made with love, Stone Mountain. Yeah, I love, love, love um, the color of that bag. It's really good. I like the dark brown on the bottom and the lighter. So this is dusty, but I actually think it's dusty for me because the inside of the purse, again, like minimal crummage. Hold on a second. Oh, it's got a little wear on the corner. Let's see if Sunny bought that yet. Are you gonna put that on there? Yeah, I'm gonna put that it has wear. And I'm gonna lower it to $14.95. Okay. 
So if you already bought this, you might no, have to. No, she didn't. Nobody bought it. Nobody bought it. So this one here is fun. It's got kind of like a leopard. <laughs> it's Seth's favorite. It's got actually the, the leather one over there. For, the brown leather is your yeah, favorite? Yeah. I knew it would be. If I had to have a favorite, it's the brown leather. I like it because it's Kelly green and leopard. So sometimes people don't like to dress really loud, but they like to have loud bags. And this bag screams, I'm a loud bag. But check it out. If your pockets were hanging out, they'd be leopard print on this purse. Oh, um, so Heather, I'm guessing that's who's talking from Call a Time Out, because I don't think Tony would know this, said Stone Mountain is a local brand to Utah. Oh, that's awesome. So good deal, about 10% of the regular cost. And this one has now been lowered to $14.95 because it does have some wear right here. But other than that, it's in amazing condition. So the next one is a Ralph Lauren. It's a canvas bag. It's got some dust on it, but honestly, a wet wipe is going to take care of that situation. It's got, it's in really good condition on the inside. And it's got a nice strap. If you're going for, you know, to the country club and you want to look fancy. <laughs> I don't, I paid $2.99 for this fancy Ralph Lauren bag and it's not chaps. So don't buy chaps. That's like the, you know how there's like Gap, there's Banana Republic, Gap, and Old Navy and they're still all the same brand. Chaps is the Old Navy of the Ralph Lauren world. Lauren by Ralph Lauren is the good one. So that's what you want to buy. Chaps is okay. I mean, I just bought my boys Chaps suits, but for resale, it's not really there. So. This one was $2.99 and I'm selling it for, oh, Caitlin says the Stone Mountain one has wear on the top where the zipper ends. That's right here. Oh, yeah, a little bit, but it's still worth it. Still worth it. Still a good buy. Caitlin, can you add that in there? All right, this one's $14.95. So for your fancy country club situation. Okay. All right. We're, we're through, we're the, through the purses, which were cool. I like bags. Um, the brown leather one the, was the good. The purses in the thrift collection are not free shipping because it would cost about half of what. <laughs> yeah. So there's not enough value in that one. So we've got this fun tin sign. It says, choose the right little CTR action for you in the afternoon. You can't go wrong for that, but we are actually going to paint it. Going to paint over it and make it say something else? Yeah. And not that choose the right's that cool, but I actually don't love the color. So oh, we're going to paint it and just stencil it. And it sold for $24.95. Margie says time warp with that sign, right? So I find those all the time at the thrift store. They're super dated. But if you paint them and distress them and then put a new word on it, it makes them almost look like ceiling tiles. And they turn out cute every time. Who has stairs? Who? Jean says, please tell me you're painting the sign, Jean. Painting the sign. If this we is don't, a stair, you're painting the sign. This is a stair basket. Yeah, Jean might paint that sign. We still have a lot of stuff to show. So <laughs> Ivy's like, what is that? I was like, it's a stair basket. These are perfect. If you have stairs and your kids leave a lot of crap downstairs, just put it in the basket. And then when the basket's full, you just make one trip up instead of 42. It sits on the stairs. Choose the right sounds political. <laughs> Case. I have to laugh because in Utah. It was like the of, primary theme for our there, church. There's a, there's a lot of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And choose the right means like follow the commandments. And we even have little rings that say CTR. It's kind of like the WWJD of the Mormon world. I never even thought about it for political. <laughs> it has no political meaning whatsoever. But that's a good one. And I'm never going to forget it. Every time I see that from now on, I'm going to be like, watch out for that. That's probably <laughs> why they went away from it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl says, I almost bought the purse. Which one? Was it the one that had a little bit of wear of the stone mount? It's still good. So this is uh, made in Germany by, is that an H? Or an Shelly L? bought the sign just because we're painting. Sleif? Sleif? It's a Stife bear. Stife? It's a T. It's actually a snowman. It's a T, not an L. Bear. And it has a little Hummel um, plaque on the front. So it's the hum it's made. it says Hummel on the back of it. Ivy's glad we're painting it. Abercadabra says Presbyterian here, born and raised. And then Margie says her CTR ring is tarnished. Oh, Ivy got the Jessica Simpson purse. She, Ivy didn't care about that. She saw it in real life. She was like, mm, 14 dollars I'm taking that home. Which one? The, the, uh, the green one? The green, the, the green yeah, one with the leopard print inside? Here. 
Oh, I was oh we never talked about the um, the basket was eighteen ninety five and I paid four ninety nine for oh, it. Oh yeah, we showed the basket. We were Sorry. real excited about its usefulness, and then we're like, oh hey, guess what? And On the, the little next thing. Um, snowman is a tub offering, and it's eleven ninety five and it's sold. Let's put that okay. in the back seat. All right, did we show everything on this side? Let's show the plates. Let's show some plates. Let's show some plates. We didn't show plates. I think I showed everything but the plates on this side. Oh, let's show these. We can get these. Okay, Caitlin found Caitlin these. Caitlin picked these. Caitlin, how much were these? They got a little bit of crazing on them. $15 for the whole set. There's six oh, of them. Oh, yes. And they were under the glass. I actually remember when she sent me the picture. And I know we already sold one. Um, I feel like you should hold these like this. JAXA, the really site did not have the original packaging. No original packaging. Or I would definitely send it with it. I always send original packaging when it has it. But awesome little hen collection of mugs here. Yep. So these are super cute. Uh, Jan, Caitlin says it was a sign that it got marked down. Ivy bought it. <laughs> Jean says these are cute. All right. Hold on. Where? Caitlin, how much are these? Let's see. Sorry, guys. You could hold. You could have like a whole little barnyard scene going with your mugs. Well, you can't buy all of them because somebody already said they bought one, but I'm trying to find. Where are they? I don't By the know. time I find it, Caitlin will have already found it. Is the link up? There. Someone wants those hands. They oh, could be. Oh, they're gone. Eight ninety five each. They could be cereal bowls. They could easily be cereal bowls. They're that size. Sure. So whoever bought them, you can do whatever you want with them. They're deep. You bought Caitlin. Or soup. Hey. Soup Caitlin has a company this? card, so when she's out thrifting and she sees good junk, she's like, hey! It's good to me. Okay, so we have a few of these, don't we? How no, many of these? One. We only well, have one. Well, I might have more, but that's the only one I found. I thought there was another box. No. So these are. So this is what you put your collectibles box. in, so you only have to dust the outside and not the cracks. That case, that's a tub offering. Let's see if I can find I them. think it would be really cool to do like a little terrarium type situation. A fairy garden? Like what we did for Christmas with the uh, bottle brush trees. Do you remember that? No, but I'm trying to find this. We did it in a cake oh, dome. Oh, yes. Oh, it's sold. That's okay. $14.95. Oh, and this it sold? Says, yep. So this these, was a tub find. That's a tub find. I think originally it was like $30 is how much they sold it for, and it's what you put your collectibles in. Great for stacking if you need a tier display. And if you're wondering what the heck a tub find is, I bought 34 tubs. It was in one of them. <laughs> Kayla says, the lady at the DI was like, what are the hens for? And I was like, a bowl, a planner, whatever your imagination makes it. As long as we sell it, they can do what they want with it. And shop down. Okay. So I don't know how well. Chicken but... soup bowls, that would be brilliant. Oh, Shelly bought those too. So this says Mother's Day 1979 um, from Kaiser, West Germany. Yep. Limited to 15,000. Uh, we had two of them. One of them was broken. And so we gave it to Eliza, Zeb and her dad. Zeb and her dad. Zeb, her dad and her are going to see if they can tack weld it back together. But this one is all together made by Kaiser, and it originally was $39, probably like 40 years ago. So, let's see, let's see if I can find that on here. And we are selling it for the low, low price of $12.95. Does it have a year on this one? 1979. Oh, 1979. Yep. So if you forgot to buy your mother a Mother's Day present in 1979, you can buy this one and say, oh, shoot, I had this this whole time and I forgot to give it to you. And then you can give it to your mom for $12.95. So WM Rogers silver plate. WM Rogers. It's got some tarnish and some shiny spots on there. I'm guessing somebody had like candles or something. Maybe on? or something hot that they set on there and then, you know. But I like it. I think it's I'm cool. gonna go back. I'm just gonna wait for Kaylin because I'm not doing very good at finding stuff. Oh, Rashonda, yes, I did yawn behind the plate. You know I did. Were you just being a sneaky yawn? I was reading, but I also I also popped in a yawn. Ty says it needs a polish. No way. No. <laughs> For eleven ninety five, you can polish it yourself if you want to, but I like it tarnished. Okay, so I do have. Oh, what's this little egg from? 
Easter's coming. It's from the box, uh, the tub. Oh, I a tub know. find? I wouldn't say it's a collectible, but it's cute. And I was like, Easter's coming, so I'm trying to pull out all the Easter spring stuff. It's a candle stuff from inside. No scent, just looks like a little tea light style candle, but it's yellow. Okay, plates. Hold on, I I'm haven't gonna, said the price of that. That's okay, I'm gonna come up and show. 4 I'm gonna show these plates because- And you get the candle, free gift with purchase. <laughs> candle coming. I actually would probably take the candle out because I think without that yellow candle, it's about 452 times cuter. But I was like, I can't, maybe somebody wants this candle, so we'll give it to you that way and then you can decide. All right. 1980. So these are German plates. They're made by Bilroy and Bock, made in Germany. Um, and they have some very interesting names to this them. This one's 1980. They yeah. do have little holes so what you can string ribbon smell? through them. It doesn't smell like anything. Wow, that was originally priced at two hundred and ten dollars back in nineteen eighty. Two hundred and ten dollars. What in the actual heck? Do you know what I'm gonna sell it for? Nineteen ninety five. It's limited to ten thousand. This was plate number three thousand six hundred and ninety. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna hand these to you. They're all nineteen ninety five. Oh. Call a timeout. Heather's like, these plates are gorgeous in person, in Oregon. She's like, in person, not Oregon. <laughs> Sally says it makes it look like a real egg. It does. So you can leave the yellow candle in, but my suggestion is take it out. This is 1978. I, I feel like really these would be things. really good for Christmas time. So are those the three wise men? They look like it. That's, well, the word, so that's called De Helligen Draconigi. Did I get the German right? I don't think so. This was number uh, 12,893 of 20,000, 1978, made in West Germany. Views photo says, I like the egg better without the candle, so I got it. Do you want me to take the candle and throw it away for you? Let me know. I'll put it in my emergency supplies. We actually never throw out candles. We have a big box. And if there's ever the lights go out, all the weird random candles that we thrift are in this box. Oh, Marty said my mom would have loved those. She was from Germany. And Cape said the word I said that it's not pronounced right. Weinhachten means Christmas in German. Oh, this is a lower run. This is 794 of 10,000. And the other one's Three Holy Kings. Yeah, that one is pretty. So these are not Wedgwood. They're Willa Roy and Bach, B-O-C-H, and they're limited edition Metlock plates. If you love, so there's there, there's this really like subculture of people that love to decorate with, I want to call it, it's like there's gra like granny chic and then there's religiana, like religious relic type pieces, like anything with the mother, Madonna, and the baby, like those types of pieces are really, really popular and these would be good in that kind of design. Kai says that's an excellent brand. Oh, so we have two of these. Oh, Fuse says, yes, please. I have plenty of Yankee candles. All right, it's going in our emergency supply. I'm going to take it out right now. Okay, a couple more plates coming. These ones, I, I like the coloring on these a lot. Hold on, where's the one? Did you show all these? Yep, I showed all of those. There's there's two that are the same. Oh, yeah, we have four, I think, of the mother, or three of the mother and the, the baby Jesus. These plates are cool. They just have really fun subject matter. Cheryl, I got all these boxes off of Facebook Marketplace, 34 tubs to be exact, for 350 bucks, which is why I'm passing on the good deals. And in case you were wondering, this is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. First <laughs> issue of the Metlock Collection. Down Home Society. Nestor says it's Religi Grandma Chic. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, these ones are cool. I have multiples of these. I think we have three or four of the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And the brand on those is... Um, Let's see. It's Metlock. Metlock. Oh, so the same brand. Yep, it is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Let me see what I priced those ones at. These do have their original boxes. Yeah. So they come in their boxes, which is great. Anytime I have a collectible in a box, I always leave it there. Oh, I can't find it. Snow White. So we have five left. Oh, $12.95 for these plates. Oh, here's another Snow White. 
So if you like Snow White and the, the dwarfs, I just like the depiction is kind of different and they're really pretty. You I cannot the eat coloring. on them. There's a sticker on the back that says the precious metals in them make it dangerous to eat. So maybe also don't lick your fingers after you touch them. I don't know. Um, so Jules Jewels, it says Vilroy and Bach is a good seller. Well, if that's, if you know where to sell this or you have a market for it, then these are a good deal. And right. we're, I have a lot more plates where these came from. I'm looking so make through sure you these, hit subscribe. And we're gonna they're have all the week. same so far. You brought all the same ones. <laughs> oh, Janae said it's old European folklore, not religiana. You're probably right. Because I made that up. All right. This one is pewter. Made in India. I paid $5 for this vase. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of those pieces where it's going to stick around for a really, really long time. No, Madonna is not on the Snow White and Seven Dwarves. You got Snow White and Seven Dwarves, and then you have Madonna, or actually they say Maria, which is Mary, and the baby Jesus. And they are, the Jesus is in his birthday suit and is anatomically correct. Just saying. All right. Here, show the little bird. I'm not ready yet. Okay. I, wanted, I forgot, to, I need to see how much this is worth. Oh. I'm wondering, I'm either I'm missing it or Caitlin's dealing with more permanent marker. Let me see. It's more likely that I'm missing it. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Silver vase beaded lip. It's actually pewter, so let me change the word pewter. It's silver colored, but it's pewter which I like pewter a lot better. And it's 1995 and I paid five bucks. All right. All right, Calico Kitten. Calico Kitty. It's a kitty in a shoe to be exact. Uh, your friendship keeps me fit. Oh. 8C11-644. Yours for the low, low price of $8.95. This Calico Kitten did not have a box. The other ones we have listed have boxes, but this one is box free, but it is super cute. A couple more collectibles, and then we've got a fun tin over here that I like a lot. Jean says, we've got tubs for days. Diane, it is available. Cheryl, it's not silver plated, it's just pewter. Oh, Caitlin says, it was in the chat way before I found it. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> I'm falling asleep on the job. All right, Jasmine's so, going thrifting tomorrow. So how, hold on. So that's Norman Rockwell. Yeah. Les has it. Any question? 160 of 1,000. Oh, Les says, is it better to use tacky glue or hot glue for the ruffled edge? Les always use high temp hot glue. And I really love the Gorilla Glue Sticks. I pick them up at my hardware store. Um, so this is $22.95 and it was originally $195. The sticker's still on it. And it comes with the little 175. base. Oh, 175. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a nine. I love Norman Rockwell. One of my favorite things. All right, so we've got, oh, careful. So we've got these Norman Rockwell mugs for Sherwood Brands. And ironically, we found these, we had these two in the tubs and then Ivy and Caitlin went thrifting and they found the exact same mugs for sale at the thrift store. So we have two sets of these mugs and she paid 50 cents each for them. And then I got another set out of the tub and they are $9.95 for the pair. So we have two pairs like this. This one, I actually had this picture up forever on our wall, remember? Yes. I've always loved Americana and Norman Rockwell. This is- um, It was framed. The Saturday Evening Post collection. So this is, they're praying for their food. And then this is uh, this Christmas one where Santa's looking at the globe. The Saturday Evening Post collection is good. There's some really great Yeah, the subject matter is really great on those. All right, we also have this mug. It's for the groomsmen. It says Maximus Orbis. Okay. Terrarum um, is How's Latin you? for Latin? world's greatest. In any language, you are the greatest. Genuine fine pewter, 1989. Cheryl says, I'm in thrifting rehab. No thrifting rehab around here. It's $8.95. Does it still have a sticker on it? If you're in thrifting rehab, we will help you get off the bus. So this is pewter on the outside, and it was originally $28.50. And if you have a groomsman that you want to have a stylish mug, it can be yours for the low, low price of $8.95. Genuine fine pewter. It says on the inside on the back. You can see the word like it's written on there. 
Caitlin wants to know if uh, Leslie would like two extra boys to spend the night. <laughs> Jonah asked the other night if he could spend the night. You tell him if they're riding with permanent marker, they are banned from staying the night at Jamie's house. No after hours if you're gonna write with the marker. Okay, so this is a little brass candlestick. Um, did you see that it had this crack? Did you disclaim crack? I think that came from your collectible stuff. It did. No. Oh. And it does have a little crack, I'll show you. I think that that happened in transit because I looked that thing over. Maybe, but it's in really good shape otherwise. Hold on, let me pull up the products. Let's it looks like it was where it was seamed together. Yep. Oh, to do, to do, sorry. Oh, please. Small brass candlestick. Is it brass? Yeah, it's brass. It is brass. Mm -hmm. Oh, I only sold it for six ninety five. So I'll change that to four ninety five. Okay. And I'll put. The deals are getting crap. better as we go. The night's wearing on, and we're getting good deals. There you go. Boom. Little candy jar. The lid does seal. It's got a flat bottom so it can sit. Caitlin said that Jonah learned his lesson. <laughs> and then we have this tin. I think this is the last thing. Oh no, we have two more buckets over there. This is a just like a tin tote or toolbox. And it comes with good authentic rust. Complete with authentic battle damage. Yep. Um, I sold that one, so that was two ninety nine, and I know it's already sold because I saw it. was handmade. It. Yep, I sold it for twenty eight ninety five, which awesome. I think is a really good deal. Yes, it you is. You know what I would do with that? What do you think I would do that? Plant with it. Yes. On the, on the porch, probably on I some old crusty bench or chair. I would put little pots in it and plant in it because I think it would be super cute. I keep thinking about spring because it's it looks like someone a lot may. Oh no, that's that's just looks like garage dust. Yep, and this is eleven ninety five for this cute little vintage jar with lid. It's for your candies that you put in your nightstand for your little nephews to get. All right, what are we painting? It's time to go now. We gotta paint. What fast. about this bird? Oh, you didn't show the bird yet. No. Succulents. Hold on, let me find the bird on here. So the bird originally was one hundred and twenty dollars, made in Italy. Wow. I know. I'm like that is a spendy bird. All right, um, ceramic bird decor made in Italy, $12.95 now. And I am gonna disclaim it has a little bit of chip here, but I'm just gonna take some layered chocolate and fix that because I don't think it needs to be painted. I think it's really cute. Um, it's originally from House of Goebel. So the same, Goebel is the brand that makes, isn't Goebel they make? The Hummels. Hummels, yes. Um, and it says Italy on the back and it has like, it's in pen. So the maker probably signed Looks like the maker mark handwritten. There you go. Twelve ninety five for glue. One hundred twenty. Those if buckets sold. The buckets are sold. I was gonna say if you needed some cute Easter Easter egg baskets. Yep. But they're gone. I sold them they for twelve ninety five each. They're, they're originally a dollar ninety nine, and I like them because I hate those plastic ones that break. I like the wood handle. The wood I handle like the is metal. Exceptionally good. They'll be around for a long time. They're not single use baskets. Bunny is mine, whoop whoop, Robert. Oh, Sally Von Zwoll bought those buckets. And do you buy the buckets and you bought the like, cute little banks? Cute granddaughters are gonna have fun. They think I had two of everything. <laughs> All right. Janae says, it has a bird on it, Jocelyn at Crazy Lamp Lady. I need to watch her more. Please still paint, Diane. The paint is coming. What are we painting? We got time to paint like one thing each. We can paint those shelves. Okay. We haven't painted tin shelves in a while. Here, you, you stay here and answer questions for just a sec. I'm gonna, I'm go gonna get a drop cloth. Okay, you got the drop cloth, I'll grab paint. All right, I'll take the little one, you take the long one. Okay. Okay. Last week, in the last few minutes of our live, we transformed a clock that we bought for like $10 and sold for 50. And now we're gonna transform these shelves that we spent about five bucks for and all total will sell for $52. Paint is a great way to transform your thrifted finds and make them awesome. An embossed tin is one of my favorite things because last week the clock was embossed tin too. Looks amazing. Where's the big long one, Seb? Um, it's over here. Where? Ah, oh, I can't get it because then I'll be off camera. All right, all right we'll see what Seb picks. Classic weathered wood. 
And I also have some apothecary. It's been a while. I want to go apothecary. It's been a while since we painted apothecary, and I think yours with like the bronzy color underneath will look good. This apothecary paint has Is had it a little. Are you gonna get one coat? Yeah. All right. So DIY paint sticks to metal and sticks to plastic. Really good coverage. And this has had the lid off, so it's extra thick and delicious. Never mind my kitchen screwdriver. Otherwise known as a butter knife. Um, if you ever have a problem though, you can add water and try to reconstitute your paint. So if your DIY gets too thick, don't throw it out. I've even heard of people taking the powder of the DIY paint because it got really dried out and they crumbled it up and put water in it. So weathered wood, and then we'll white wax this. It almost looks like uh, concrete. Stone. So we everything we showed you tonight is at jrbhome.com, but the paint products are at jamierayvintage.com, which is our original website. It's kind of like our firstborn child. <laughs> um, and that's our DIY product website. We have the decoupage paper that is selling like crazy. Our retailers have been reordering, thank goodness. I knew it was going to be hot, and so we ordered four times more than the pre-orders that we had because I was like, this stuff is going to sell, and I'm going to need it. So if you have not picked up decoupage paper, if you go to jrbwholesale.com, we have a retailer map. Do we even have anything that we decoupaged here, or did it all sell and we took it to the shop? It all sold. Um, what I was going to say about the retailer map, though, is make sure you contact your retailer and make sure what they have because we carry a lot of wholesale products. So just want to make sure they're carrying the line that you're looking for. Some of them just carry our stencils. Some of them have our papers. Some of them have everything. But, and if you can't find it or don't have a retailer, you can buy our stencils and our decoupage paper at jamierayvintage.com. But we have over 130 retailers in the US, Canada, Australia, and in Germany. And they carry stencils, our decoupage paper, and our stencil brushes. But I should just claim not all of them carry the same products we have, like paint and stuff, because the paint's not our brand. So they may not have DIY. I like this color. It's springy. It is. It's a great time of year for apothecary. Uh, really, is there a bad time of year for apothecary? No, actually, we've found a way to incorporate it into all seasons. It works in summer, fall, winter, doesn't matter. We use it all year round. It's, in the fall, I sometimes... It's almost like white. It's like that classic white color. It's like a really good green the classic blue. classic white? Yeah, classic white. Um, in the fall, I like to use Farm Fresh too, though, because that's like the big brother to Apothecary. So weathered wood is kind of a brownish gray color, but when you white wax it, it looks more like stone. I also like to use DIYs old school with white wax. You can get a really good look with that. Okay, I'm gonna go heat gun this one coat. That's all it's gonna need on this tin. Get me some white wax. Yep. So another thing you can do too, is if you don't like the white wax, you can clear wax and then use dark wax for like a really old world look. But if you use the dark wax, make sure you clear wax it first. Otherwise it's really hard to move it around. Um, question for you though. Is it in the top drawers, the wax? Oh, wax brush and wax, got it. Got it. Heat all right. gun, check. I'm coming. Jasmine says weathered wood and white wax is seriously magic. It is so good. She used that in one of her videos the other day. Oops. Janae says apothecary is my new obsession. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jasmine, but her channel is handcrafted from home. And she's been cranking out videos. I have a booth on a store on Main Street in my town. Can I be a retailer? Yes, as long as there's not another retailer like super close to you. We don't technically offer like areas, but we try not to have them super close. So if you go to jrbwholesale.com, all the entire like shebang is on the front page. I don't hold anything back. I don't make you apply and then find out what the rules are. It's all on there. And then Mariah, my sister-in-law, who now lives here in Utah, She's our retail director and she goes through and approves everybody and she's super on top of things, way more organized than me. Um, and then you can carry our stencils or our decoupage paper or our stencil brushes. And in a couple of weeks, we will have our new wood product lineup um, that we are gonna start offering wholesale. So candlesticks, four bowls, wood cutouts, things like that. So it's, it's getting real. Over All here. kinds of awesome stuff. We have some really fun wood products and they'll range from uh, 
stuff like charcuterie boards or uh, cutting boards and rolling pins like we've had. We're changing some of the designs on those, but we're also going to be doing some larger architectural type pieces that should be really cool. Diane says, show some purses. We, if you watch the replay, Diane, we have the purses on here earlier that we had for sale. Um, let's see. Uh, Fiona says you guys should use the barn to pull over your garage door. Actually, the, on this side of the house, above the French doors where the boys' room is, there's no window because they're going to have bunk beds there. And I want to make a big barn quilt and put it up there because I think it would be cool. Like that a black and cool. white barn quilt. Although house, there's no gable end on that side. It's a hip roof. No, no, no. On this side, like on the wall. Oh, up uh, in between the windows? Yeah, like above the French doors because there's Eliza's window, right? Mm -hmm. And then below there's a window and there's a French door, but above the French door it's just wall. Oh, yeah. We have a big, so huge a space big, right huge there. We have a big, huge expanse and it's on the side of our house and I just think it would be kind of fun. And my pool is going right over here so I can float around the pool and look at my barn. You club. guys, the pool dream might be real. They're, they're coming to do like measuring and things and, and we stuff. We paid the deposit, which is like half a percent uh, of the price of the pool. So we had some options and Jamie was like, if options I do like anything, I want the pool. We haven't finished the basement yet and the doors aren't quite sealed. I've got one door left but the pool guys are coming because if they don't, they're not gonna get the pool done this year. <laughs> Listen, how else am I gonna get you topless more hours in the day? Get a pool, see? It's also, I story. like to float around. So, there you go. If the neighbors would be like, there's a bear in the pool, a blonde bear, and I'd be like, that's just Deb, he's swimming. I'm not too scary. No, he's just hairy. I am loud though. I am super scary, loud. No hot tub, so it has a spa built into it. So he wanted a diving board, but turns out the deep end it, fiberglass pool was too The pool long. would have been too long for our property. We would have encroached on the easement. So, so shorter pool build. with built-in spa. That's why I built my own house. So I could have a pool. <laughs> Those were the blisters. You know what we need to do? We told them in your video should we wait until the video comes out monday to tell them how much we had back in return yes they have to wait okay monday's video is the garage video and you guys will find out how much i'm gonna tell you right now it was over a thousand dollars in returns out of the garage excuse me and we used it for um a buying huge toolbox. a huge <laughs> toolbox and we still have money left over janet says bears them true all right, can I have that? I'm going to dry this one. Um, so I'm going to trade you and have you white wax oh, this one. That's smart. So our favorite heat gun, um, this is a Wagner, but we also have, what's the other brand one? The Tac Life heat gun. The Wagner Tac does Life, good. T-A-C-K Life, and I think they sell them on Amazon. It works good too. So the Wagner gun here is excellent. It gets really hot, so don't burn yourself. It gets up to 500 degrees. Um, it doesn't quite blow as hard. That was what was nice about the tack life is it blew almost as hard as like a blow dryer. And so it would just really dry stuff out fast. So Eliza's vanity is not finished. It's actually still in our living room. Hasn't moved. It's right over Hasn't there. Moved. It is painted. It just needs to be distressed and waxed. He's got some drippies. Can um, I see your brush? Yeah. <gasps> it's right there. I fixed it. Um, so hopefully next week or the week after we'll get to her room and you guys will see that finished part. So you guys will Welcome free data channel membership. Sorry. Hey, channel membership is awesome. Printables will be out by I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a deadline Tuesday. They'll be out, so watch for them. Tuesday really means like Friday. No. What? Um, Janet, I think we have the camper joggers back if they haven't sold out again. Check the website. Because we restocked joggers, um, and I we restocked the campers. We also restocked the kitty joggers. We got a bunch of new joggers this week. So, you guys will get to see some pool DIY stuff because to get the price where we needed it to be, so that we could actually afford it, we are running the water and the uh, gas line out there. Well, we're also going to be getting a bubble for our pool, so we can use it in the winter. And I got to find out from the bubble people if. We can we still get a bubble and have a slide. We're gonna take the money 
that we're saving from running our own gas and electric and by a really cool twisty slide. Oh, is it electric, not water? Electric, not water. We're not running, we're just gonna fill it up with a hose? Uh, no, the, sorry. I think it's the gas and the electric. They're doing the plumbing. They're doing the plumbing. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> the gas and the electric the are easy. The gas is for the heater and the electric's for the lights in the pool. Oh, I Jasmine, would... I can't hardly read what she did. She did a super chat. Oh, super chat. She says, thanks for always showing up. Don't miss out on channel or business membership. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, Jasmine. Um, so we're the, sorry, I'm really excited about the pool. I was like, wait. We're still talking about the pool? What was I saying about the pool? I, were you going to say something about what Jasmine said? No. Okay. Something else. Oh, we're getting one of the big expenses of the pool. Like over 10% of our pool budget is... We are, because we're getting a fiberglass pool and it's not a fancy shape, it's just a rectangle, we're getting a hard cover that has a lock and a keypad that you put a number in. For me, that was non-negotiable for safety. We are fencing our yard, but not specifically the pool because a four foot fence to a ray kid just says, get a ladder. Or jump over. Or jump over. So I needed something even more. So we're gonna have alarms on our back doors because we already have an alarm system here from Vivint. And then we're doing the hard cover that you literally can walk on, that you have to have a key and know the keypad to get it open. And we're also going to be doing private swim lessons and CPR training and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm all about safety. Yeah, Denise, I because we're getting the spa in the pool, I really want to bubble because normally you like to use the hot tub in the winter. But if you don't heat your whole pool, you can't use a hot tub. Or if you don't have a bubble, you cannot afford to heat your pool. Yeah, we had a friend that was heating her pool, and she said it was like $2,000 a month to heat her pool in the winter. We're like, whoa. So if you don't know what a bubble is, it's essentially... That's a ridiculous amount of money to heat a pool. <laughs> a bubble is a like a greenhouse for your pool. Yeah. And it allows you to use it year-round. They're basically like a plastic inflatable, but it goes up over the top. And we don't get out a lot, like traveling and stuff, so I just thought it would be good to do something fun with the kids and we don't have to go anywhere. Are you going to white wax this one or just leave yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to get a towel. I thought I had some paper towels. I moved them. No, I got them. Oh, you found some? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, so if you sign up for the business coaching level of channel membership, you get to join our private Facebook group and then we go live every week. We take off four weeks a year, um, so that way we have time to do special things. And we cover all kinds of topics. We do like social media, smart ideas to get people into your store, how to just do websites. We do encouraging stuff. And our people in our group are amazing. Yeah. Like we have over 100 members in our business Some of them coaching. are doing better than we are on yeah. some things. <laughs> We're like, oh, right? we just we just told them to do this, and we need to do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you want this white wax as well? I'm really good at like selling stuff, so okay, I share I'm, my I'm tips. I'm doing it. Yeah, white wax. Is there any other way? That paint this was is the way. super thick. Man, and this you didn't this even wax catch brush. The Mandalorian I did. This. I'm just concerned with the stiffness of this wax brush. It needs. All right, I loosened it up. It needs washed. It needs washed. some warm water and French soap. Yeah. Okay, now, now we're back in business. Donna says the business group helps so much. Donna's been doing amazing. Uh, she's been taking great pictures, sharing her home. I can't remember, I think it was Bree shared a cute picture today of her upcycled by, upcycled by Bree. Um, shared a cute picture of her um, mantle, fireplace mantle. And guys, look up, call a timeout, all one word. That's our friends, Tony and Heather. If you remember, Tony was the guy who came over night after night after night for free and helped us with electrical. And they love to go to national parks as a family and they share where they go and they're really fun. They're getting ready. He, he might not like that I'm saying this, but they're getting ready because if it doesn't happen, then I'll be in trouble. But they're getting ready to go to Florida next week. They're going to hit up Disney World, but they're also hitting up three national parks. Um, while they're there in three days and he does like really fun breakdowns um, and they hike it as a family and you know they tell you how difficult it's gonna be and all this sort of stuff and and uh, show you the sights and it's just really it's really fun to watch. I wants to know how the hunt for a bigger store is going. 
Oh, I'm not going to give details. It's going really good, but we can't say yet because we don't want to jinx it and we got to be careful. We are in negotiations we're... for a really awesome building. Yes. So if, just pray that if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Yeah. I was really sad when we couldn't buy the building we were in because our landlord told us he would sell it to us. And then he wound up selling it to somebody else because they could close faster and they offered more money. And it's then one I, of those when God closes a door, he opens a window situation. We're hoping he opens a really cool old window. Yeah, so we'll let you window, know once we're under contract. The window is better than the door was. Um, and it would be so much better for our situation. So we're really just hoping and Lolly, praying that um, that works said, out. I just subscribed to their channel. So Cheryl, all I see is the channel membership. So if you look under channel membership, there's like a level below it. There's a drop down. There's a drop down below it and it's $29.95. That's the business coaching. And when you're business coaching, you still get all the regular channel member stuff, but then you also get the business coaching. And we don't promote that a lot, but we're kind of good at it. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. I don't know what kind of promotion that is, but I am. Uh, let's see. I swear I saw that Heather just commented. Am I behind? <laughs> Jasmine says we are good at it. Would we keep the old store too? No, we would not. But it's not far. I don't like to travel far. Kelly says I usually paint along while I watch the line. I'm at a cottage tonight. I have nothing to paint. It's driving her crazy. I it swear. is a good time to get stuff done. It's about an hour of uh, sitting around, hanging out with friends and chatting, and you keep, keep your hands busy. You'll see me if you if you join the channel membership with the business coaching. Sometimes you'll see me. I'll be like working while we talk. <laughs> it's multitasking. Um, so call a timeout. So I don't know if it's Heather or Tony, but she says I want the new shop. They they already know because they're our friends. So we we let the cat out of the bag where it's at. And it says you're too kind. Florida is going to be awesome. Dry Tortubas is where they're going. All right. So it's a little splotchy as wax tends to be. It's what we call the wax freak out factor. mode or factor and once this dries it'll even out and look really good so five bucks worth of thrift store shelves a dab of paint and wax and about 10 minutes and you got 50 dollars. and i'm telling you it, these look so good and i didn't think they looked good before but when you add that wax it just makes them look like old tin ceiling which is kind of the vibe we're going for all right well thank you for hanging out with us guys all right, I have guys. to go pick up Odelia. She's been at parties like every weekend for the last month. <laughs> She's a popular girl, man. She is. All right, so you can hit up jamierayvintage.com. That's where you can pick up the paint and products we use. If you want to purchase anything, if you want clothes, European candy, home decor, that's at jrvhome.com, which is basically the website for everything I put in my home that I love. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. I saw you shaking your head. I was, about I was the stuff I love for all the stuff you love. I was thinking about our video today. I'm like, 90% of this stuff we sell. Yeah, if you guys watched <laughs> our video today, a lot of the stuff, maybe we didn't mention it, but a lot of the stuff you see in our room and our bathroom are things we sell because this is Jamie Math. One for me, four to sell. One for me, four to sell. So I share all my favorite things. But we restock on the, the bath supplies. We do. Bye, guys. <laughs> Love you. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Bye, guys.